Hi guys, I showed you I bought this in the charity shop. 27 megahertz Mini Cooper by Rastar. So as usual, I've been going through my spare transmitters trying to find one that matches. I was quite disappointed actually because, which one is it? One of these has got Rastar written on it. Oh yeah, this one. Land Rover Rastar. I put a battery in it, but it doesn't work. At least not with that one. So that's a shame. Because that would have been nice to have a matching set. But that didn't work. And eventually, uh, which one was it that worked? That one, I think. Yeah, that's it. So we've got a working one. I put it on the floor and it made a horrible noise. And as I said in the original video, it's full of hair. So we'll take it apart anyway, see if we can clean it out. Fix that front wheel, it's only just popped off the linkage there and see if we can get it going. Somebody's little lucky charm. Oh, that's a bonus. That's the aerial that should be hot glued to the roof. So that's come off, but that's not a problem. Get a brush to brush the dust out of the way. And then we'll see if we can get the hair off the wheels. Probably have to get the motor out to get a bit of space. I think if I just lift the receiver off, we'll be able to get to the motor unit fairly easily.
part. Let's just lift it off carefully. Okay, well, we've got lots of nice grease there for the gears. Lots of deep grease. Let's move the camera down a bit. Oh, in shadow there, aren't we? Leave that gear in there. I just want to get rid of all that hair. You see all that hair in there? You see it well at that end. Uh, what can I use? See if I can get a knife blade to cut it with. I really need the cap the lights at a different angle, don't I? Can imagine some child getting their hair all caught up in it, but that's probably not the case. This is probably just picked up off the floor. Get a tissue to wipe that. I think that's a bit better. Right, that's better. That looks okay. They certainly put plenty of grease in it, didn't they? Slop it about a bit.
that's better. Okay, so that's the motor, drive motor, that's the steering motor, up there. Very simple setup. Pinion gear on the motor, drives that crown wheel there. But I expect we'd have a look inside, couldn't we? I'll move the camera a bit, I'm a bit too close, I think. Right, let's take the motor off. Steering motor we're now looking at. Our steering motor looks absolutely fine. So we'll have a look at our steering because we've got to get the hair off the steering too. See there's springs under here. Okay, nothing tucked away inside. That's the one that's dropped off that we can just put back on again when we put it back together. So, take them out of the way. That's the crown gear. Bottom of the crown gear's got a nice long, uh, smaller gear. And that drives that sort of wishbone shape or yoke side to side. That pushes those bits. So those the springs, and then say that bit. turned by that gear. So, try and clean the hair off of here. Have to get a knife in there again.
one. I think we've done it. Now can we remember how it goes back together? Play the video back so I can check which way up that went. Oh, I think it's got to be that way. I think. Looks good. <laughs> well, it did look good. I don't reckon that's the right one. That felt a bit tight. There we are, there's another thin one. That's 
looks better. shadows on it I'm sorry just couldn't get the lighting right today So look what trip it is. SCR2000 YC2K 20F for Freddy. Okay, they all work. I'm not going to worry about gluing that back in place. Just about, I don't know. I'm just going to, just going to say the battery is going to go on the camera. It's not the battery, it's just the timer. It can only film for about 23 minutes and it's up to 22.59 at the moment. That's it. 
back together. That was the hair we've taken out. It's still making the clicking noise it was making before I took it apart. I didn't film it before I took it apart, but it was making that noise. I didn't notice any broken gears. That's annoying. There we are. That's the tooth that's missing. It was in that white grease. Hold that behind there, we can see it now. That's a shame. Having taken it all apart and cleaned it up. Didn't spot it the first time. You guys might have spotted it watching the video, but I didn't. My excuse is it was in all that white grease. So, well, it still works, it just doesn't work right and it makes a clicking noise. Shame. So, back together again, but we've got a broken gear in the gearbox. So, that probably means this will be spare parts and we'll use the receiver in something else.